Well, homeowners are worried that these storms could be too much of a good thing in basalt. Heavy rain could end up causing flash flooding in the Lake Christine burn scar. That's even as the fire continues to burn. It flared up again Friday, forcing emergency crews to put pre-evacuation notices back into place. Matt Kroschel has been following this fire since it began three weeks ago. And Matt, people living near that fire just can't seem to catch a break right now. Karen, no, they can't. You know, that fire at more than 11,000 acres right now, despite the rain, it continues to grow, and they only have about 32% containment. And now homeowners are worried that the rain that might put that fire out will actually cause rain uh, mudslides. The first part of the disaster came with the flames. Now it's the flooding that has County Emergency Manager Barry Smith up at night worrying. Because our message to the public is that when this happens, not if, when, uh, that there will be likely flash flooding. Uh, we can't stop it. The best thing we can do is get people out of the way and protect lives and clean up the mess afterwards. Charring pinion and juniper, grass and shrubland. It's now in thick pine forests within the Roaring Fork and Frying Pan River drainages. The biggest hazard other than life safety is going to be blocking roads, plugging up culverts and, and probably filling a few homes with mud. They won't be able to stop the wall of mud and debris brought on by the coming monsoons. So they're hoping people who live here are planning ahead for what will come. People may be isolated in their homes. We need people to prepare for 72 hours at least uh, stranded in their homes if they don't evacuate. Much of the area has burned down to mineral soil and is susceptible to years of erosion, landslides, and noxious weed invasions. This community bracing for what is the second part to this disaster. And other problems for those folks? Well, the water supply, the muddy mess, could create problems for the next several months. We're live tonight. Matt Kroschel covering Colorado First.